<laughs> all right, but we're quickly approaching the weekend. Yeah, and it's summer break, so we've been using all of our skills to try to figure out how to entertain our kids this summer. <laughs> and it's going to be, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, they're going to Uncle Marcus's house definitely <laughs> for maybe a week or two. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's take a live look outside in San Francisco. A lot of fog over the bay, but it's clearing out for the city. And on the camera lens, you can see the drizzle that's right over the city right now. We're going to clear up a little bit more quickly for this afternoon. And we're headed for 66 degrees, 68 degrees in San Mateo and some upper 70s in Martinez. You'll notice it will be just slightly warmer than it was yesterday, but still pretty mild with a high of about 77 in San Jose. Tomorrow, it's another degree or two warmer. We're seeing that for the valleys with Concord and Santa Rosa reaching 80 degrees. And then for the weekend, Saturday, we're finally getting in some spots some swimming weather. Fairfield, 87 degrees, but we'll still be cool near the coastline with uh, some spots in, along the coast. Half Moon Bay, 64 degrees. Uh, still maybe some light long sleeve weather there, but definitely warmer in Mountain View with a high of 77 degrees. On this first day of meteorological summer, we take a look at how temperatures have been averaging due to climate change. And this map shows that where we see the areas in red, it's anywhere from four to five degrees above what our old summers used to be like going back since 1970. And so we are seeing a lot of warming across the West. In fact, in San Francisco, our summers are now about 2.3 degrees warmer than it was was in 1970. So we can see that upward trend there as our temperatures continue to warm. On average, we have an additional 29 days of temperatures above normal. So yeah, definitely feeling that uh, around the Bay Area as well. And then we take a look at our trend where temperatures warm up going into the weekend. But we know that this year has in some spots been really unusual. And so we're getting ready for the possibility of rain in June for next week in the middle of the week. So we're going to be watching that temperature is also dipping. So in spots like Napa, we're going from mid 80s for the weekend to low 70s for early next week and it's just going to be warm just briefly for the weekend.